Razer is no stranger to collabs, and the latest announced at CES 2022 is with watchmaker Fossil. I've got my hands on the Razer and Fossil Gen 6. Let's check it out. Only 1,337 of these watches have been made. The people that get it, get it, and the people who don't, I suggest you Google it. It's gonna be available January 10 from Razer, Fossil, and a couple of other retailers, so mark your calendars if you want one, because these are pretty much a rare commodity. I've done a quick unboxing for you to show you just what's inside. There's obviously all of the Razer branded packaging. A little musical montage later, and this is everything that's in the box. Obviously, the watch itself with two different watch bands. They are the Razer Black and a neon green. They're silicon watch bands too. And on the actual buckle itself is the Razer logo inscribed in there. There's a four pin charger. That's exactly the same as what will come on a regular Gen 6 watch without all of the Razer branding. And you get the usual documentation, though this time it's got Razer written all over it. Okay, let's get to the actual watch itself. It is a 44 millimeter watch face. And you know, under the hood, this is pretty much exactly the same as a regular Fossil Gen 6. But there are a couple of different Razer options that I'm gonna show you, including three dedicated watch faces. The first is an analog version that has, you know, your traditional watch hands. You can add complications. You can change in and out the Razer logo. The second watch face is a digital one. So this is writing out the time in words and it has your little Team Razer hashtag down there too. This one you can also customize by adding complications at the top or the bottom. If you don't know what complications are, it's basically just like little widgets to launch specific apps or tasks, say like your calendar or maybe even your phone app. My favorite one of the Razer watch faces though is the Chroma face. This will not come as a surprise if you have other Razer devices, but you're able to change the lighting effects on the actual dial that is around the watch face itself. So you can have options such as breathing, which is basically pulsating the lights, spectrum cycling. Now this one's mimicking the kind of flicker of a flame. There's a wave option, which is my favorite of all of them. It just gives all of the RGB colors just glowing in that circle. And of course you can customize them even further within each of those lighting options. You can change, say, the direction of the lights. You can add the time as a 12 or 24 hour option. There's also, of course, complications too and changing up the Razer logo. There's also a static option that you can change to match all of your other Razer Chroma gear. Unfortunately though, there's no automatic way to sync them to other devices to match that particular color. You're just gonna have to go in and manually eyeball it. And that's kind of it for the Razer inspired features on this watch. I mean, I've been trying to find some other things in here, say like maybe custom animations uh, and things like that by going into developer options and trying to really get into the weeds, but I can't find anything just yet. I'll keep you posted and updated in the description of the video if something else pops up. But for the meantime, I feel like that's kind of it for the Razer side of things and everything else is pretty much the same as you would get on a regular Gen 6. There aren't any other kind of gaming specific options and things like that. So let's talk about the actual Gen 6 itself. If you're not familiar with how the watch works and what it does, it's a Wear OS watch, but it's not the latest version of Wear OS that is co-designed between Google and Samsung that is only currently at the time of recording available on the Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch 4 Classic. This is the older version, although Fossil has said that this watch will get the new Wear OS update to version three sometime in 2022, mid to late in the year. But the good news is this watch does work with Android and iOS, and it will continue to do so after the Wear OS 3 update is applied. Unlike the Galaxy Watch 4, which is currently Android only, and even then some of the features are specifically locked to Samsung phones. The watch is running the Qualcomm 4100 Plus processor, so things feel relatively snappy. The battery life management is better than some older Wear OS watches as well, and it's gonna be able to give you things like a heart rate sensor, it can take your blood oxygen, 
there's sleep tracking and all of the standard things that you would expect on a smartwatch and also of course the Gen 6. You're still getting contactless payments through Google Pay, the Google Assistant on your wrist, and there is an always on display that is compatible with those three Razer watch faces that we just saw. Also coming at some stage will be the Amazon Voice Assistant. Not saying it, so I don't accidentally activate yours. You know what I'm talking about. There is the app already installed on the watch right now, but it won't be active until Amazon updates it in the Play Store. So there you have it, your first look at the Razer and Fossil Gen 6. As I said, 329 US dollars. I've got useful links in the description below about availability and some more information too. If you will excuse me, I am now going to try and get my hands on another rare Razer item, the Razer Zephyr. I'm gonna pair it with the watch and uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna see me through the next year, I reckon. See ya.